So it is the next day after the road trip test with the truck. The test run went over the mountain and back, and it um, it failed at yeah, the end. Miserably. And I was not so certain we were going to make it home, but we were a little limp at home. And uh, I have a tow job to do today. I have actually a tractor trailer that needs towed is waiting for me, but um, I don't think this is going to do it. So we've checked the fluids, all that. That is all good. We're going to take this truck back to the dealer. And uh, we're gonna film starting it up. Right as it sits, it's, it's cold. See, that's a turbo, and my hand didn't melt. Um, we'll see how it sounds. Started up cold, if it's doing that miss at all or not, because what it was doing, it was doing it uh, yesterday, it would run so bad. Put it in neutral, put your foot to the floor, you couldn't get it to run, rev over a thousand RPM, and it was just blowing blue smoke and raw fuel out the stack, and then. Uh, then it would clear up and like actually run good. Like, yeah. so there's not like a mechanical problem in the engine because the engine's running strong, like when it clears up, but then it would go back into sounding like that rocker's totally loose, like an injector's just flooding it with fuel. So it's something in the like assembly of that top end of the valve train injector rockers, the engine itself, very good. So let's we'll start it, see if it's missing now, and then see if it'll make it to the dealership for you know another try oh and th this truck is right here because we've unloaded all of our chains and binders and stuff like that and a bunch of tools and everything because like all my tool i don't have like tools in my shop or tools everything's in this truck and uh it's really handy until the truck disappears and so far every time it's been like you know the repairs gonna oh yeah we'll have it done today or tomorrow like one or two days like yeah just leave everything in the truck we'll get it back today or tomorrow and then two weeks later Still don't have any tools. tools. Yeah, so you hold this. I'm gonna start the truck. Good. Uh, very smooth up. Yeah. You heard that, that uh -huh. kind of flutter, bounced it, then it's still done. Well, you're gonna you're gonna follow me down the road in my pickup. Yep. Because I don't want to put my pickup on the bed and haul it there. Because if it breaks down, then my pickup's stuck on the bed. Because you need to like you know run the truck to unload. And I don't want to get stranded. So uh, I'll leave you with the camera. If this starts flooding freaking smoke out of it, Film. make some video. Yeah. No? I was... I didn't think you were going to make it. Uh-oh. Were you going to blow a motor trying or just not going to make it? That was everything I had to try to do 30 miles an hour. So I think I can get back home. Yeah. And we have to call Consolidated to uh -huh. tow it. Uh, shit. So let's take it back home, pull the drive line out of it. So it's ready for them and <laughs> And here's what I don't get. Take off and now it's running it's still out a flutter, but oh here's a turnaround road. But it's like it kicks back in most of the way. I don't understand. Okay, update. We are driving down the highway. Uh, I, I had to go up the road a little ways to find a spot to turn around and in doing so messing with a little bit I kind of realized what's making it happen which further leads me to believe what the problem is and uh, it's as long as I stay under about 1500 rpm and also about 15 ish uh, on the manifold pressure uh, it's, it's fine it's still got a bit of a flutter to it like a little bit of injector issue but like runs fine we're going down the road just fine you build up over that 1500 rpm getting up into 16 17 or so and get that manifold pressure to get up into the high teens up 20 or so even then then the computer is 
like, okay, we got everything we need, send the fuel to the injectors and let's make some power. And when it does, one injector is stuck wide the hell open, goes full fire hose mode, floods out the engine, and uh, or that cylinder at least, which loads up the engine, won't let it run, blowing fuel out the stack in that raw fuel blue smoke. And uh, it will stay doing that until you get your foot completely off the throttle. So the computer tells all the injectors to simmer down and uh, they cut back and it, it washes that cylinder through and gets that, all that fuel, that raw fuel out of it. And then it starts running okay again. And uh, like I said, as long as you stay under 1500 RPM and keep the manifold pressure low so that the computer does not uh, decide it's time to pour the fuel to the injectors, uh, it's it's okay. It's not great. It's okay, but temperatures are all staying down and good. Oil pressure staying up. We're doing 55 down the road, and uh, we're, we're almost there. So I think it's going to make it. Uh, it's one other issue I found about like, oh, let's pull the drive line out so consolidated can tow it, no problem. Yeah, all the tools to pull the drive line out, I left at home because I took all the tools out of the truck. So I mean, they, they can do it, but it'd be nice to do it for them. So I think we're going to make it. So I just realized that uh, after dropping off the truck, we never filmed anything else the rest of the day. Uh, we dropped the truck off. Uh, well, first me and the mechanic went for a ride. I took him for a ride and showed him what was going on. He agrees that there's definitely a fuel delivery issue and the rest of the motor seems good. So they are going to dig back into it to see what they find. We now have the dump trailer hooked to the back. We're going to get more sand. We're back and it's hot and I've had a rough day so I don't think we're going to accomplish much else. I think what we're going to do is think about how we want to do this so there's no way to like back to where we need to go and dump. What do you think is a good way to get this out of here and over there without ending up with a driveway full of sand? I Slowly. Yeah.
I think it, it would be better to go straight from there to the wheelbarrow. Shovel it in? Yeah, I think so. It's not the lazy way, though. Well, yeah, but it's the way that works. I think this bucket will fit between those poles. Like if I had to spin around? Mm. I think so, actually. It'll be close, but it might. That. Yeah, we could go straight skid steer into there. Let's see if it'll work. I think it might. to move the wheelbarrow over here. The trailer's too low to go straight into the wheelbarrow without just straight shoveling it. If we could pick it up, we could dump it straight into the wheelbarrow. And you mm -hmm. know how we could make a trailer higher so we could do that? It was a rollback. Yeah, if we had the rollback. How many jobs today were like, if we had the rollback... I think it's at least easy. five now. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the backup of Shane. backyard so I had a plan bring the skid steer around to the other side dump that whole load right here we have our little sand dune and scoop what I need out to fill that back corner over there from this side I just got stuck on the sand dune so see if I can paddle my way out of here without tearing that liner now should I paddle backwards to get where I want to go or paddle forward to get out? Well, probably backwards and then hope you can get out in the end. Super dumb. Now I'm gonna go get the trailer and back in here and get that stuck too.
this whole beach oasis we built has been like the most worthwhile thing ever because my daughter uses it like every single day after school. That's all she wants to do. She has it like her tablet and watch shows and all that out the window since we like finished this. I figured it out, you just walk up it and... This is so dumb. <laughs> just avalanches down. You know the bad part? Huh? Between the stolen dump trailer and this one, I'm like 20 grand deep into owning a dump trailer and we're shoveling it out. <laughs> because of, of the dump trailer. Yes. I spent $20,000 <laughs> to own this, so I have a dump trailer. And what are we doing? We're shoveling it. This doesn't even like need to be done. Oh, no, no, not like, at all. It would look nice if I did that corner over there that nobody ever sees. Yeah. Looks so good. Well, we're here now. We are. And you know what somebody has probably already said in the comments by this point? Huh? Why don't you just get some jumper cables and hook from the truck to the trailer battery and it'll dump. You know where my freaking jumper cables are? In the rollback. They are. With everything else. That's where they are. Yes. There's the sixth thing that would have been useful for today. Let me pull this forward a little bit. basically where we're at we got this like started I piled up a bunch right here Dave was taking it across there uh, I finally got the trailer to dump uh, made the sand dune a little bigger here pulled out I needed to fill back some of this some might need some more over there put the picnic table back and uh, that's all we're gonna do today because it's hot and we're over it and it's not been a great day so why do anything else um, We'll finish this tomorrow in the morning, and I don't know what the next video you see is going to be, but hopefully it involves getting my rollback back. So thanks for the help, David. See you guys next time.